You're a window shopper. You mad at me? I think I know why. 17, the cops ran down with the burner out. Said that I fit the description of someone burning out and stolen whips. I swear to God, I didn't flinch. Never thought for a second that this was it. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Black Freight White. You know my slogan. I'm doing it like I'm doing it when I'm doing it for TV. Salute the TV. Let's get it. Guys, welcome, welcome to Guess That KOK3, hashtag Be Great Squad Part 12. KOK3 is the greatest my team tournament ever assembled. We use all time teams. This year, I'm helping you build your teams. And today, we got a goodie. I'm not even going to really make y'all guess too much. But it will be some guessing involved. You know how we do. Let's get right into it. Let it right up. Yo, what's good, everybody? You already know what time it is. Guess that KOK3 team. Hashtag be great in the comment section. Let's get right into it, man. Now, nobody got the trivia from last week correct. So I'm going to give you the answer to last week's trivia. Um, Shaquille O'Neal was the only rapper slash basketball player to ever go platinum in NBA history. Now stop, think about that. It ain't about that. It's about P.I.G. A.K.A. Big Shaq. Now that's the difference between first and last play. Kobe, nigga, tell me how my ass tastes. So I'm not going to make it easy. I'm going to make it as tough as I can. So let's get right into it. Let's run it up. All right, so you know we always start off with our six, man. But today we're going to start off with our 7th man. Our 7th man off the bench. I really don't have anything to say about him. He's crazy. He's weird. He's a rebounding machine. Great. One of the best defensive players i ever seen play. Definitely part of the Pistons Bad Boys era. Definitely a key cog to stopping the Chicago Bulls from being great. Dennis Rodman, welcome to the squad, baby. So now you got Dennis Rodman, you got Amethyst Dennis Rodman coming off the bench, which means you know the, the, the starting five is stacked with diamonds. But we're going to keep it rolling, we're going to keep it going quick. I'm going to do these real quick today because I want to get the video out to you guys it's super fast. So I'm going to do this one really quick today. Let's go. All right, so let's go with um our seventh man off the bench. The man who got 81 dropped on his head. If Michael Jordan is the original... Kobe Bryant is the remix, baby. Jalen Rose, welcome to the squad. So you got Jalen Rose, Dennis Rodman. You got two Amis coming off the bench. Ooh, who else can I give you? Who else can we give you? Is your third to last player on the bench. Some call him Jay Crossover. Some call him the man that never gets old. He looks the same way he did when he first came in the league. Jamal Crawford, Seattle Zone. Welcome to the squad. This man has won three championships. One on his own. He's one half of the greatest dynamic duel to ever play in NBA history and he's one third of one of the greatest dynamic trios in NBA history <laughs> Mr. Wade County himself Dwayne Wade welcome to the squad now you got a Heat player, the Piston, a Pacer, and a Nick. Who knows what the squad is this week? Who knows? If you guessed it by now, let me know. Let me know in the comment section at what minute in the video did you guess the lineup. I would love to know that, guys. Last man coming off the bench. He'll probably have a better card later down the line. But for the purposes, it's when we do these KOK 3 lines, it's about the cards that are currently available in-game right now. So, Defensive Player of the Year, Joe Kim Noah. Welcome to the squad. 
So now, if you have not guessed it, you should have guessed it at this moment. We are doing the all-time Chicago Bulls. And we got a real twist for y'all with this team. A real twist. We're going to get into that. All right, so now that you know what team it is, let's start filling in our um, starting lineup right here. You know you got to go with the boy. He could play power forward or small forward. And since everybody's running the stretch big lineup, he's perfect for that lineup. Luau Ding, welcome to the squad. Right here is a very interesting position. You can go with several players here. Craig Hodges, uh, Steve Kerr. Horace Grant. It's a number of players you can put in this position. But this is who I'm choosing to go with because he's a knockdown shooter and he can run point if necessary. BJ Armstrong. Welcome to the squad. All right, so our squad's looking lit. We're going to leave this space for somebody very special. But let's get into the starting lineup. All right, let's start with power forward. This is who I'm going with. Lockdown defender. Can stretch you out, can shoot the three. Not the world's greatest shooter, but can shoot the three enough where he's a threat. And you and you can't go wrong. He's gonna lock up every power forward, small forward, two guard, point guard. Braun our test. I'm in the spotlight when they turn the lights down. Only a champ swing the hardest in the 12 friends. Welcome to the squad. There we go. Alright. So let's go with our starting big men. Now the thing about Chicago Bulls, they don't have a great history of great big men. I can actually make a change. I'm actually gonna make a change today, guys. I'm actually, my first time ever, we're gonna make a change. You done fucked up now! But our starting center obviously has to be Artis Gilmore. It just has to be. He's the best available option. But this will change my other option. Now that we have Artis Gilmore, I'm going to change this. And I'm going to go with Bill Cartwright from the... Yeah, we're going to go with Bill Cartwright right here. Much better option. Much better option than Ja Kim Noah. Until they drop Defensive Player of the Year, Ja Kim Noah, which they should be dropping soon. This is the best backup center option you have right now. All right, our starting small forward, everybody knows... This is probably the greatest non-point guard player in my NBA history that I know of. Some people might say it's LeBron. I think it's Scottie Pippen because he came before him. Here comes the play. Uh, is there a foul on the play? No. And Scotty got a two. Is there, there a, isn't there a contact on this play? No, I guess. Hey, so, Scotty Pippen, welcome to the squad. You already know who the point guard is. It's all around the best point guard in the game right now to date, as I spell his name wrong. This is the best point guard as of right now to date. Derek Coleman. What the fuck? Psych D. Rose. Welcome to the squad. All right, now this is where it's going to cause some controversy with people. This is where the controversy sets in. The greatest player of all time, we all know, is Michael Jordan. But I do not have Michael Jordan starting on this team. Michael Jordan, Air Jordan himself. Welcome to the squad. There you go. That's where Michael Jordan falls. So you already know who starts here. The man, the myth, the legend, the assassinator himself can play defense and offense, Diamond Jimmy Butler. Welcome to the squad. So this is your all-time Chicago Bulls lineup. Now, I know people are going to give me slack about having Jordan on the bench, but this is the best Jordan card available and I'm sorry, he does not beat out Diamond Jimmy Butler in this lineup. I'm sorry, Jimmy Butler right now is better than any Jordan card they have available. This is without Onyx cards, we don't do that in this lineup. Okay, guys, the overall of the Chicago Bulls team is a 91 overall, which means they are in the top five teams for KOK3. Your inside bananas, anything over a B 
is perfect for KOK. That means they running out of A. So if they got an 84 inside and an 85 athletic and an 84 defense, that means you pretty much have the best athletic inside defensive team in KOK3. Now they fall a tiny bit short on rebounding, but you can change that with Ja Kim Noah. When the better Ja Kim Noah comes out, that'll change. Playmaking, you really can't do nothing about that, but you have the two greatest playmakers who not playing point guard. Well, three. You have D-Wade, Michael Jordan, and Scottie Pippen. So what you lose in the point guard in terms of the backup PG, you gain with your shooting guard and small forward. So you're really not losing in playmaking. And the outside shooting, this is where it can be a little tricky, where you might want to take out BJ Armstrong and go with Steve Kerr just to boost up your outside shooting to make sure you have a knockdown shooter. But D-Rose can shoot, Butler can shoot, Pippen can shoot, the better Jordan, the pink diamond Jordan that's coming out late in the year, he'll be able to shoot. D-Wade can shoot. So you have shooters, you just don't have knockdown shooters. You have consistent shooters, but not nobody you can go to every time and bang out. This is your all-time Chicago Bulls, guys. Like, comment, subscribe down below. Let me know what you think about this team. Let me know what team you want me to do next also. And in more words of your boy, it's one life, one love, so it can only be one king. King's legitimacy, queen's legitimacy, I'm out. Deuces, bang! Look at me, fuck on me, yeah. Look at me, look at me, look at me, yeah. Fuck on me, yeah. Look at me, yeah. Fuck on me, look at me, fuck on me, yeah. Look at me, fuck on me, yeah. Hey, fuck on me, look at me, hey. Fuck on me, yeah. Look at me, look at me, look at me, yeah. Yeah.